Good morning from me and James. He literally grew up overnight. Like, he did a couple more smiles last night. And then today he woke up and is so much more expressive. Welcome to the vlog. This is the face of Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so as I get the camera ready, Sarah's like, you're gonna do four seconds of your face? <laughs> it's like, that's how I feel today. But we have a pick-me-up that Peter got from Publix last night. It's a new Red Bull flavor called Arctic Berry, but I dropped one, so one's gonna explode. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? It's new, but it's been around since September. Oh. Is it Arctic or Arctic? It's Arctic. I knew there was a C in there. It's the winter edition of this year's Red Bull. And how do I know that? Because it says it in English. Monday. There's got soup. Okay, so mine's not going to explode. I'm getting the vlog up. James is seriously grown up today. Mmm. Is it good? It smells. It smells like it tastes, and I was so excited. It like tastes gasoline? Like, no. It feels like gasoline, which I like. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it tastes like a blue Sour Patch Kid. You know what also is the face of Monday? Mm. That is the face of Monday. He's ready to go to Ikea to finish his room. Look at these pants. He's fitting into a lot of his zero to three month stuff, so it's really great. I also got a book I ordered with the birthday present for my mom. I think it says $24. Should we get it if it's only $24? If you got your sleep study results back, I would say yes, but you haven't, so no. It's $74. I like this and stuff. Yeah, I like that. I also like this. The baby's asleep. And we're basically done, but they didn't have the curtains we wanted. Well, this was unexpected. Got some kitchen art. We are home and I wanted to show you what we got from Ikea. First, the stuff for the kitchen is this herb garden print and then this vegetable garden print. So stinking cute. We're also going to hang up our calendar. It is a, um, it's like a what vegetables and fruits are in season calendar. We've been meaning to frame, so these will match that really well. So we got these little hooks that will hold the curtains back if we ever want to pull them back to let the sunshine in. We did get the rods and I ordered the curtains online. So they should be here by the weekend. So these probably won't get installed for a while. And then we picked up the sixth pillow. So these all fit a little bit better now. Um, and then we got a twin size comforter, which I have to wash still. This comforter here, like you can see like it's folded to fit because it's big and I do want it for like when our guests stay here for their blanket but it just doesn't like fit um when it's not pulled out into a king so we got this twin size nice and fluffy and then we got king sized pillows I had normal size pillows with the king size pillow covers on them and you should have seen my face when I was like this doesn't seem right I didn't realize that there were different size pillows, which makes sense. Um, so we got those. I'm going to put the covers on them now. And then the last big thing that we got are new bath towels. I am a big fan of them. He's quite sleepy. Newborns, sleep, eat, poop, repeat. 
but he, I mean, I did say today, like he has been much more expressive, but like the time he's awake is just so short. So I like just soak it up. Um, also, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I had like a weird work Monday as I haven't been having those lately. Um, so I feel like I wasn't by him at all today. Yeah. Peter got eye medicine. Finally. Finally. Um, and he is now able to fit into more of his like zero to three. And so he's got, he's got Mickey Mouse on his pants. This like opens up his wardrobe to so many more possibilities. I know. I forgot to show that we got this basket. It's really nice and low, but wide. We realized like now using the bookshelf, it wasn't as functional like with it jam packed. The top one is okay because it's out of the top, but just like getting the books out. So I lessened how many books were on each shelf, put more books in the basket. And then as James like gets his favorite books, different ones will probably live in this basket and it'll be way more functional. So everything we got tonight were really like loose ends just to tie up um, the nursery obviously and then the bathroom, just like small things that'll make a big difference. We still haven't gotten a shelf for the nursery. We have a couple of other little pieces of artwork um, and some plants, but honestly like everything feels really like it still feels complete. I feel like maybe we'll just add those things as um, time goes on. Also, who knows how much longer we'll be in this apartment. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes with the rest of it. But once the curtains are up, I feel like we can finally say that the nursery is done. Oh, it's time to get ready for a bed. Oh, it's time to get ready. All right. Today was a very strange day. Um, I think work just got me in one of those moods, you know? I think it was like, it wasn't even, I don't know if like, I feel like today was no crazy work day, but maybe it's just because work has been continuously so crazy that it felt normal to be crazy. I don't know. I'm going to read the message though. December 7th. William James is the author of today's message. The art of being wise is knowing what to overlook. I feel like that just hit me in my soul after me complaining about being a crazy Monday. I should just overlook the things that made it crazy. Um, I didn't get to talk about this book as much. I also don't know about this book as much. But it's about um, a famous runner. And he talks about the journey of running 26 marathons throughout his life. And how he correlates things about faith, life, and, and health as well. In, in addition to running. Uh, correlated to all these different marathons. And it, it is weird to think about unless you're some crazy endurance freak you only run a certain amount of marathons even for like long time lifelong runners like typically you do a standard training thing and you're the average person's doing the exceptionally person is probably doing tops two marathons a year um, but usually one a year and so how many running years do you have in your life kind of a thing um, so I'm excited to start that but we booked a little fun little staycation this weekend for my birthday. My birthday's Saturday. I'm turning 29. Cue scene. Cue the scene from New Girl when Schmidt celebrates his 29th birthday. Happy birthday, Schmidt. I'm 29, folks. What's up? 29? 29? Um, last one before a big 30, which I can't actually, I can just like skip over my 30s. I just want to go straight to 40, I think. I think 40 is my prime. I think 30 is going to be a good time, but I think 40s are where I'm really going to ripen. Um, but we have a steak. We're doing two things. We're doing a staycation, and we have two guesses for you in the comment section. Where are we staying? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you, give you a hint. And the other thing is, is I'm going to get another tattoo. But what tattoo am I going to get? I don't know. Also, I killed this poinsettia, I think. Merry Christmas. Since I showed you the before, I thought I'd show you the after. Look how cute he is. He grew, when we woke up this morning, I don't think we touched base in it, but when we woke up this morning, we all like slept from like two until like eight in the morning. All of us, including him, his outlet had like the best night performance of sleep ever. But we woke up and looked at him and we're like, you are literally a grown man. Like I think a that's how human. I opened the vlog today. Oh. 
but still, like even more so throughout the day. You just talking. Yeah, hanging out. <laughs> You ready for a bottle and for some bedtime? Yeah, yeah. When he's all swaddled up like that, we call him Burrito Supreme. That started in the hospital. Actually, like a Tenacious D reference. Tomorrow we have a park pass to a park we haven't been to in a while. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get ourselves together and actually go. Because we are those people that make park passes and don't go i mean usually i remember up, usually though, i remember like, to re-release them back into the world um but the ones that we haven't gone to have been like because of my work's gone over right or because they close early but because like, if we hours, don't leave like right at five it's like yeah we get there 10 minutes before close yeah the hours have been better though we gotta take advantage of it because in january they are going to go back to being earlier, but mm -hmm. fingers crossed. Send us some motivation throughout no, the don't day. Send us motivation. Send us like hope that my that we can get out at five. Yeah. Or even four. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.